Hey you guys! Today we made this quick video to talk about this new board. It's the FISAC Cheetah version 1.1. This board was released just a few weeks ago and it's designed to be a plug and play upgrade for the Creality Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro and Ender 5. It's plug and play because it's the same size as the stock one, has the memory card slot and the USB connector at the same place and it comes preloaded with the firmware. And it's an upgrade because it's equipped with four TMC drivers, a 32-bit microcontroller running Marlin 2.0 and has extra connections available for AC detection, filament detection, RGB output and auto level sensors. The TMC drivers are sorted on the board and they are configured in stealth chop mode and communicating by UART, which means if we want, we can easily adjust the output current and other features. As I said, it's preloaded with Marlin 2.0 firmware and they didn't forget to enable the thermal protection feature. In FISEC's wiki page, we can find the firmware for download if we prefer to modify it and the instructions on how to flash it. Creality also has their own upgrade board with TMC drivers, but that one is only an 8-bit board and it's a little more expensive. The Cheetah is currently being sold under 30 US dollars. According to FISEC's AliExpress page, the initial version included TMC's 2209, but this version is temporarily out of stock so they are making a second version with TMC's 2208 instead. The main difference between these two TMC drivers is the max current output, which is higher on the 2209s, and the sensorless homing feature, which is available on the 2209s. The max output current is not an issue for the Ender 3 or Ender 5 because the value on both is higher than what the motors can handle. The only feature that might matter is the sensorless homing that is not available with the TMC's 2208. The board also includes a 12 volt option for the cooling fans and RGB outputs. If, for example, we decide to connect a 12 volt Noctua fans or 12 volt RGB LEDs, we need to install this module to lower the voltage on these outputs from 24 volts. To 12 volts. Because it's plug and play, the installation is very straightforward and should only take a few minutes to do. Anyway, we will install this board on our Ender 3 printer and test it out. We will print a few stuff and see how the board and the firmware behaves. You can see all the results soon in a future video, so if you are not a subscriber yet, please click on subscribe to see that and more other cool videos on our channel. That's it you guys. As always, if you like our work and wish to see more videos from us, you can help the channel with Patreon or PayPal. Just check the video description below for the links. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like and keep following us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will see you guys next time. Bye.